Hi folks, Mr. Teslonian here. Today what we're going to do is build a gasifying barbecue system from a 5 gallon metal can, a piece of 10 inch stove pipe material that's a heavy heavy duty, very thick stove pipe material, and a whole bocce grill right here. Uh, the other tools you're going to need here is going to be a drill and two drill bits. I got a quarter inch drill bit size and a half inch drill bit size. The half inch is going to be used to drill holes all the way around the bottom, about one inch apart, around the bottom of our inner burn chamber piece, which is this piece. The quarter inch bit is going to be used to drill holes all the way around the top here about half inch apart. We might expand that a little bit to maybe three quarters of an inch apart. Let me get a measurement on that. I'll show you what it looks like once I get it marked and start getting it drilled. Uh, the next piece is to set this down inside of our outer skin or the five gallon can here. So I'm going to set it on top, make a mark and cut a ring out and then I'll show you what it looks like from there. Okay so I've finished all the parts here. I just want to show you what I've come up with to make this work. On the uh, inner burn chamber, as you can see here, I went three quarters of an inch between each one of the holes. That's a quarter inch hole. That's your spacing and your drill hole size. Here I used the half inch drill bit hole and I went two inches apart all the way around. And I used a grinder to clean up those holes so they'll slide inside of our outer case really well. And you can see here I've marked it. And you can see how dented down it is at the rim. That makes a nice seal. I cut the hole in there for our inner burn chamber to slide down into that. I've got some tabs up here at the top. You can see the tip of my thumb right here all the way around. And those will keep that burn chamber from sliding all the way down in and falling through. They'll hold that up on top and I'll show you that here in just a moment. You can see our grill now is set up. It's adjustable. I've got little pins here. You can just pull those out slide it up and adjust it back into one of the other holes which is going to be a little more difficult to do there's one right there with one hand you can adjust the holes slide it down pull it up so you can get it the right height that you need you can even bring it all the way down to the bottom when it's all biochar so you can still cook on it when it's all the way down at the bottom of its burn cycle let's quickly go ahead and pull that out of there you can see here i just used some piece of tubing as a guide for the rods on the grill the inside here if i give you a look just the hole for our inner burn chamber down here at the bottom I've used an inch and an eighth hole saw and those are four inches apart all the way around and that'll give us our airflow into the entire burn chamber there uh, between the walls here and up through the inner burn chamber let me go ahead now and get this to set down in there hopefully I can do this one-handed all right so I've got it now started down inside of there what we're gonna do is just push this down carefully all right, so now I've got that pushed all the way down in there. You can see how nice it sits. The little tabs hold it up. You know, down in here, because of the tight fit with the angle, it's really well sealed against the edge, which is what you're gonna want. You don't want it coming by there with an airflow at all. You can see our line of burn holes all the way around. Uh, for the bottom of the inner burn chamber, I found uh, the burn piece for an old stove, the cooktop stove that was the electric range little pan underneath there. I've got some tabs. Down here in the bottom, it'll hold it just inside of our inner burn chamber, right above the holes in the bottom of that, just like that. And there we go, folks. We now have a gasifying barbecue system. Let me go ahead and put the grill back on there. All right, take me just a second here to line this all up. And the third one, one-handed there. We got it slid down on top of the pins and now we have a gasifying barbecue cook stove designed for actually cooking a full size meal. The size of our burn chamber provides quite a long burn period here. So what we're gonna do now is head over to a friend of mine's house that I built this for. We're gonna put some wood in there and try it out tonight. All right, so after showing the building process of how to build this gasifying barbecue system, I've packed it full of wood. I've got some material in there we can light on fire, so I'm going to go ahead, use the lighter here, and let's start it up. All right, looks like we got some flame. If everything goes right here, it should start pretty quickly. I'll give you an idea of just how long it burns and how well it works. All right, so you can see it lighting. Go ahead and back away a little bit. When it's first lighting up here, you can tell it's producing a little bit of smoke, but once the system starts heating up, it'll produce no smoke whatsoever, turning that smoke into flame.
All right, so if I back up now just a little bit, you'll notice no smoke anymore. Already gasification starting to take place, producing a nice clean flame. What's happening here is as the inner tube starts to heat up, the inner burn chamber, it's creating a draw between the two layers. So the air is being drawn in through the holes down here at the bottom due to the draft being created between the two layers. As it's being drawn in, it's being forced out through that outer ring there that you see the upper ring. ring and that's creating the burn effect that we're seeing. As it's mixing colder air in with the wood gas, what it's doing is mixing fresh oxygen and cooling the smoke, allowing it to be combustible. All right, so now the wood mass is definitely burned down below the burn ring holes, and you can see just how well that's really working. Back there in the background, all the way around the ring, you can see the nice little lines of fire coming out of the holes. And an intense amount of flame, very large flame coming out of there. Clean, nice color to it. You can see the wood gas in action. All right, so here's a nice final shot. You see how well the burn ring's working all the way around. Let me tell you folks, that is a hot fire coming out of there. For the small amount of twigs that I throw in there, the scrap wood, that is a large amount of energy output. An extremely efficient, easy to build way that you could use to cook food, 